This is Gene Key for SkyServe News. According to KVUE.com from Georgetown, Georgetown police say an ex-boyfriend killed a mother of four just moments before he was fatally shot by police. Police say 38-year-old Terry Pittman was shot inside her home multiple times Halloween night. The father of the two-year-old, 52-year-old Anthony Blackman was killed by police. Police say just before 10 p.m., one of Pittman's children called 911 for help. When officers arrived, police say her 11-year-old son had a knife, possibly for protection. Captain Kevin Stoffel says the officers took the knife and continued on into a bedroom where they found the couple. According to Georgetown police, the suspect and the victim were alive at the time. Shots were fired. As a result, the suspect was killed by officers. Three officers are now on paid administrative leave, which is standard for the department when shooting a suspect. Police say the two-year-old girl is with her grandparents. The three boys are with the father. Texas students gain in math, but unfortunately, the reading scores are flat. The Associated Press is reporting that, according to results released Tuesday on the National Report Card, results show Texas students lagging behind the national average on reading scores. For 8th graders, the average scores was 3 points below the national average. Reading performance gaps between white students and black and Hispanic students in Texas were unchanged in comparisons to 1992 and 1998. In math, however, those gaps have narrowed. Texas students exceeded their national peers in math by seven points in eighth grade. Math scores have been improving steadily over the past two decades. The results are based on the National Assessment on Education Progress, administered by the U.S. Department of Education's National Center for Educational Statistics. From KHOU.com near Houston in Bolivar Peninsula, Texas, A 12-year-old trick-or-treater was being held as a hero Tuesday after pushing his friend out of the way and taking a direct hit from an oncoming truck Monday night. The friend survived, but the 12-year-old died. The accident happened on Halloween in the 1800 block of Loop 108. It happened as the victim, Ernesto Rodriguez, and his 11-year-old friend, Christian Balderrana, were riding in the back of Christian's dad's truck around 8.30 p.m. They were headed to the Port Boulevard Volunteer Fire Department, where firefighters were handing out candy. As Mr. Balderrana waited to take a left turn into the parking lot, the boys jumped out and started dashing across the street. But there was a truck coming the other way. Both boys were hit. A volunteer firefighter said that he saw the whole thing. The truck hit the 12-year-old so hard he flew through the air. Both boys were flown to UTMB in Galveston, according to the Galveston County Sheriff's Office. Christian was stable Tuesday, but Ernesto died when he got there. Investigators don't expect to file any charges against the 52-year-old driver who struck the boys. He stopped to help after the accident. This is Gene Key for SkyServe News.